on Forgotten Bits. Download the stick image and find the flag. All right, there are no hints here, but there are plenty on the disk. So I've downloaded that disk image and I've decompressed it and I've loaded it into a program called Autopsy, which is useful for doing forensics. And so you'll see that we have our data source is this image file. And what we see from that is we have four different volumes here. This one's unallocated. Um, this one has very little on it, it looks like. We have one, nothing looking very interesting there. We have volume three, which says it's swap space. And volume four looks like the interesting one. So in volume four, if we look in the home folder, we have this user called Y1. And Y1 has notes. So Goldolheen, Chizza Zright. I keep forgetting this, but it starts like Yazuo Atrox. All right, and we've got some emails. So we'll take a look at those. See root, win cash. Doesn't really look like spam. More spam, more spam, more spam. All right, so let's see what's in the new folder here. All right, Yone, this is a reminder to delete all of our emails and scrub your trash can as well. We don't want our precious light falling into the wrong hands. You know the punishment for such crimes. All right, so maybe what we need to do is we need to find some deleted emails. All right, so if we look down here, we have something that searches for email addresses. We have this Azurite 17 and Y1 786. So Azurite 17 has three emails. There's just a reminder to delete all your emails. I've adopted this for my passwords. For my most important password, I use it for both my ledger and my user account, just so I remember it better without writing it down. All right, so this is the XKCD password cartoon. Um, correct horse battery staple. All right, so rather than picking this really hard thing, you pick four words all in lowercase and make that your password. All right, and it's going to take a while to load this one up. Okay, uh, very good. I've adopted this for my passwords for my most important. I don't know, we already got that. Uh, okay, so. Let's see what we also have from Y1. Okay, spam, spam, spam. These are the messages we've seen before. All right, so it doesn't look like any more interesting things there in the emails. Okay, what else do we have? We've got this browsing history. This browsing history talks to us about the golden ratio base and the American coding. That'll come in handy later. And we have this internet relay chat logs. Let me give you the keys for the light. It's steg hide. Here's the password. And then there's encryption. Okay. So Steghide we do on image files. It looks like we have image files here in the gallery. One, two, three, seven. Okay, so let's go over here to our prompt. All right, so there we have our files. I've extracted them out here. You can extract files. And 
then we can use steghide. We'll say steghide extract. that passphrase put that over here and then it gives us this Dracula text encrypting file now presumably that's done with open SSL so I'll say open SSL AES 256 CBC, decrypt, salt, grab these pieces of data here. Get the IV. Now I grabbed too much there, I'll have to fix that. Okay, let's see. So, oh, dash. Okay. Let's say we want our input file to be Dracula TXT encrypt, Dracula TXT. Mm, what did I get wrong here? All right, so unfortunately, this turns out to be the text of the book Dracula. It's, it's not very interesting. OK, so we have three of those where we can actually use the steg hide. But when we do the steg hide on 158-7, put in our passphrase, it's going to tell us that it couldn't extract any data with that passphrase. All right, so we need to find more things. We need to find more things. Here in our notes folder, we had these, but what we didn't have um, anywhere so far is gonna be that password. Now, one thing we can do is we can, when we are using this tool, we can look at the Slack space. So I'm gonna unhide these Slack files. So when you have a file, it may not take up an entire block. And if you've written over some previous file, there may be data that's after the file ends, but still within that same block. So if we look at that here, let's go back to our folder. You'll see that we have, here's some Slack. Now this Slack here is this large file of binary numbers. And so the hint here was about that golden ratio. And so the golden ratio base is one plus the square root of five over two. And if we take each of those numbers and we express them with a golden ratio. So I'm gonna read the line out of the file. I've captured that, I've stuck it in the file one dot slack. Here's one plus the square root of five over two. So slack is those numbers. Now if we look at those numbers, we can see that, based on this last one, there's three digits after the decimal point for each. And so that actually creates 15 character long strings. So we have 11 digits before the decimal point, the decimal point, three digits after the decimal point. 
So I go through the file and I grab 15 characters at a time. Before is the things before the decimal point, so not the last four characters. After is just the last three characters, the things after the decimal point. And I'm going to create a sum. And if I have a one, I take whatever the appropriate power is of the golden ratio. So these are our positive powers. So if we look at like this number here, we have here where that zero is, that would be phi to the zero, phi to the one, phi to the two. So here it's phi squared plus phi to the fourth, plus phi to the seventh, plus phi to the ninth. And then here it would be phi to the negative two. We would add all those up. We add all those up and we round it to the nearest integer and convert that to a character. All right, so when we do that, we actually get a salt, a key, and an IV. All right, that's pretty good, but that still doesn't give us the password. But in our email, in our email, we had that hint about passwords. Oh, that was actually down here. And our hint about the passwords was this XKCD cartoon. So we need four passwords, or four words, and unique words from my favorite game, World of Warcraft. And, but what we see about this user is they don't really seem to actually play World of Warcraft. In fact, what they seem to play, if you look at the rest of the IRC messages, is League of Legends. And when we look at their notes, we have Yasuo AA Trucks. Now, if we look at League of Legends, AA Trucks and Lasuo um, are champions. So Yasuo is League of Legends champion. So I've grabbed a file full of names of these champions. So from AA Trox, I've got 160 of them. And then I'm going to build a file that I'm going to use as a dictionary. So I read this champion's file and I just do a loop within a loop and I'm going to create pairs of League of Legends champion names. Okay. Okay, so that great gave me this word list. So it begins with Yasuo, Aatrox, and then pairs. So here it's Aatrox, Aatrox. So I could have tried to delete the duplicates, but I didn't, I didn't bother there. And if I want to brute force Steghide, I found this tool Stegcracker. And so what Stegcracker does is we can give it the name of a file and the word list and then it's going to crack that password. So we can say steg cracker, and then it was the 158-7 word list, and I already did this once. Let me run that. It 
does tell you that we could, in fact, uh, find something faster. Steg seek. This was fast enough for me. So there was the password Yasuo Aatrox Ash Cassi Cassiopeia. All right, so this looks like another AES encrypted thing, but we did get that salt key and IV, so we can do our AES again. That was 158-7-.bmp.out. We need to get the correct values here. Okay. So salt. there and then the key and the IV grab the whole thing that's not the IV again. And there we get our flag, Pico CTF. Uh, can't read that lead, but I'll grab that. And here is the flag.